All right, so we are going to draw the inverses of some one-to-one -one functions. Um, and to do that, I've put this line on here, and we're going to draw its inverse. Now, there's really two ways to do this. One of them is to do this first way I'm going to show you, and then we'll do it a second way with a second example. All right, so first of all, I want you to notice, and actually I'm going to change the color when I get ready to draw on this. All right, that there are certain points on this graph that we can look at and see, like right there, that's the point zero, negative one. And then, um, it's kind of hard to see, let me see if I can move this toolbar. Right over here on the line, we can see this point. And this point um, is 2, 5. Now, let's remember when dealing with inverses that the points that an inverse have just switch. In fact, here's another one that's nice and clear as well. The x value is 1 and the y value is 2. Now, we really only need two points to graph the inverse of this, because the inverse of this will also be a line. All right, but we'll go ahead and do three of them. To graph the inverse, what we're going to do, and I'll go ahead and change colors just so my picture is a different color. All right, so 0, negative 1 on the inverse is going to change to negative 1, 0. So negative 1, 0 will be right there. And then 1, 2 on the inverse will change to 2, 1. So 2, 1 is going to be right there. And then 2, 5 in the inverse will change to 5, 2. So 5, 2 will be right there. And of course, notice they're all falling in a nice straight line, as they should. And I'm going to try and draw as straight as I can. We all know that I'm not very good at drawing on a computer screen. But there's our inverse. And of course, it does keep going forever. Now, I want us to remark on something here, and I'm going to get a different color to show this. Let's see. Maybe a nice bright blue. All right. I can draw a dotted line that completely divides the third and the first quadrant in two pieces. And my line is not perfect, but <laughs> definitely not perfect. So this dotted line is the line y equals x. It's the line y equals x. And all inverses are symmetric about this dotted line. In other words, if I were to take, if I were able to take this picture that is on the screen here, and I were able to fold it along this dotted line, this graph would land on top of this graph. Um, they are mirror reflections across that line. All right. So, I showed you one way of drawing the inverse when the points are clear. I'm sorry, my dog is going crazy in the background. So if our points are clear, it's real easy just to switch them around and draw our inverse. But if the points aren't clear to us, we're going to use the dotted line and the idea that it's a reflection across that dotted line in order to draw the inverse. So I'm going to do that with the second example. All right, so now we are going to draw the inverse of this thing. But first, I'm going to draw that dotted line going perfectly. So here's a graph in red, and I've drawn the dotted line y equals x. And we're going to use that dotted line to help us draw the inverse. Now imagine for a minute that we took this part right here, and reflected it across this line. So we folded it across that line. It would end up, and I'm not perfect here, something like this. And certainly it needs to be the same distance from the line, and mine is not. 
it's it's definitely not perfect now this part right here I'm just gonna kind of draw that lump going like this again thinking about it flipping across this line right here and then all of a sudden it's going to kind of turn the other way and go away from the line so it's going to turn the other way and go away now notice it kind of looks like i turned the original function around and flipped it over but we notice that although it's not perfect if we folded it along this line it would approximately land upon each other when we folded it. 